this video, we'll show you some of the first steps to take when using your B2X300 3D printer for the first time. Before you turn on your printer, there are some things to verify beforehand. First, check to see if the linear guides on the Z-axis are parallel. Use a tape measure to measure the distance between them at the bottom, then compare with a measurement at the top to see if it's the same. If not, adjust it by slightly unscrewing the bolts on the top piece so as to make them parallel. Then check to see if the distance between the threaded rods and the linear guides are the same, both at the bottom and at the top. If not, adjust it by moving the Z-axis motor from one side to another until they are parallel. Repeat this procedure on the other side of the printer as well. We're almost there, but there are still two more steps to do. First, you should verify that the distance from the stepper motor to the X-axis is the same on both sides. If they are not, hold one flex coupling and twist the other until they are both at the same height. Last but not least, verify if all the screws on the heated bed are fastened to an equal length. You can check this by making sure that all the screws tips are all poking up below with the same length as shown in the manual. When you switch your 3D printer on for the first time, make sure that you have the SD card in place. You will then be guided through a setup wizard that will show you what steps you need to take. Just follow the instructions that appear on the LCD screen. This setup wizard will verify all the cable connections to the board and if there's any error during this check, the printer will let you know what is wrong with your printer and you should verify it and then run the setup wizard again. During this process, don't worry if you see the printer axes slamming into the sides. The printer is just setting up the limits for its sensor-free homing. Now load your filament. To load or unload filament, there is a filament load and unload wizard accessible via the LCD screen. You just need to follow the steps as prompted by the 3D printer. To determine whether your second extruder is properly offset in relation to the first extruder, we have devised a method that doesn't need rulers. Print the files offset X and offset Y one at a time using both extruders 
and look at the two different colours to see if they are symmetrical. If they aren't, count their teeth from the centre until they line up. Multiply that number by 0.05 and that is the offset measurement in millimetres you need to insert in the slicing software. Here it is in Cura. We recommend you insert the offset value into the second extruder and don't forget you need the measurements of both the X and Y axes. Before your first print, you should lubricate the guides with a product that comes with the printer. Use the wizard in the LCD menu to move the axis. There are two oil filters left in the box that you might need if you're not using filament from Be Very Creative. Other brands of filament may cause blockages in the extruder nozzles. Here you can see how you set them up. And that's it! Enjoy your B2X300 3D printer! Happy printing!